Many people have asked uh, when they use our Q2ID or PDF to DTP products, once they've converted their file into InDesign, how they can replace certain characters in either large sections or for an entire document. So this short tutorial will show you how to use grep in InDesign to replace characters. And I'm running InDesign CS6 under Mac OS X 10.82. So let's say I want to replace in these first couple paragraphs the space character with an M space character, which is the space of an M. In order to do that, what I first need to do is bring up my info window here in InDesign. And if I highlight a character, which I'll highlight a space, it's going to show me the hexadecimal value of that character, which in this case is 20. And then I want to replace that with, say, an M space. Now, I don't know what an M space looks like, so I'm going to come down here to the end of this line and I'm going to insert one to figure out what its hexadecimal value is. So I've now inserted an M space here. That's a hex 2003. So with those two bits of information, we're ready to go ahead and do the find and replace. So first, let's highlight the sections I want to replace. Then I'm going to do a Command F, bring up the find and replace window, click on the grep tab, and I want to find the space, which was a hexadecimal 20, so I type in a backslash X for hexadecimal, a curly brace, and then the hexadecimal value, and close that off with a curly brace. I can tab down to the next area, and I want to replace that with an M space, as in mother, so backslash X again, curly brace. That one, when we looked up, was a 2003 value in hex and I want to select selection and then go ahead and change all and you can see that it found 116 spaces and then it will replace them with an M space so when I click OK and I've turned on uh, show or uh, show hidden characters here so that we can see the M spaces so all of these spaces have now been replaced with an M space we can go ahead if you don't want to look at that and just turn that off and that's how your document will look. So you need to first look up your hex value and then replace it with another hex value. So for instance if I want to replace all the lowercase q's and make them all uppercase, the lowercase q is a hex 71 so we'll put a 71 in here and for an uppercase q I don't know what that is so let's just go type one and then we'll highlight that. That shows as a hex 51. We'll add that in 51. We'll change the selection from our from selection to the entire document. We'll go ahead and do a change all. We have eight, 1,841. We'll go ahead and click OK. And now you can see that all of the lowercase q's have been made into uppercase. So quick tutorial on how to use grep in InDesign to replace characters.